up my fellow mobile gamers in today's video we're taking a look at the brand new update going over everything that just dropped what was it two days ago the update was amazing for free to play players rejoice we got some great content you don't have to spend any money in the game i'm loving it i just want to go over a few things in case there are some things that you may have overlooked and i also have i think like one or two tips to help you get the most out of the new update so first things first they reduced the boss hp by a ridiculous amount so our main quests right now, the bosses that we would face, their HP has been literally almost cut in half, like by 50%. As you can see in my last, my other video where I talked about 16.4, we were stuck on 16.4, having a little bit of difficulty. We just had to get a better soul linker. And uh, after the update, I tried it out again. And I mean, I smashed through 16.4 like it was nothing. I mean, it was like before the update, we were struggling and the boss, we were leaving the boss with like 200K, like 200,000 HP still left. All right. After the update, we destroyed 16.4 and there was still like 35 seconds on the timer before the boss went berserk. So that's been huge. So free to play players, you can catch up now. I believe someone also mentioned that uh, 1644 was also hugely nerfed. I mean, this one's a lot easier now too. So everyone can kind of catch up through the chapters right now because I believe our next update, we are going to get the level 140 uh, increase for our level. And we're also going to get some new chapters, I'm hoping, I think. So we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, if you're if you were struggling before with one of these, try it again because there's so much easier now. I mean, it's ridiculous. There's some really really good exchange events going on right now. Seven day guide mission where you're getting tons of different things. I mean, at the top right here at the bottom, we're getting a five star upgrade. So this whole update, they've given us a ton of free stuff to just power up our soul anchors. So this is huge like soul linkers is one of the hardest things in the game and it was said to be you know the biggest paywall aside from accessories was just getting like really strong soul linkers but with this update they gave us a ton of resources to just power up our soul linkers which has helped a lot and we also have this guild exchange where we'll get these tickets all from guild events and I mean, we get a heroic five stars. Uh, we got heroic earrings, just heroic accessories, tier four apostle fragments. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff. I'm going to probably be saving up for the heroic five star uh, selection chest right here. I'm going to save up for that. The uh, release celebration event. This is really good. I have a, just one quick tip for this. Um, you're going to get these tickets from like the shill and mine, rift altar, dark presence, dark invasion now the one thing that is super important is you have uh two free ones every day as you can see for the shill and mine the rift altar i already use my rift altar but don't forget that you can go into the store and you can buy an extra ticket right so you can go here and we'll just click and you can just click to get an extra ticket and remember it is under the daily purchases characters the shill and mine 70 and then the rift altar so i would highly suggest for this event that you're definitely going and using your diamonds to get those extra tickets because you want to get those extra uh celebration event tickets right here so we can get these five star heroic soul linkers i mean you can get whatever one you want per day if you buy the extra ticket you can get 30 from the shillam mine you can get 30 from the rift altar uh, and then if you do Dark Presence twice a day, you'll get 40 from that. So it's 20 per Dark Presence. So you get 40 total for the day. Same thing with Dark Invasion. You get 40 for total for the day. So all in all, if you do all of them every day, you should get around 140 of these celebration tickets. All right. And the event was, I believe, going on for like 20 days. So all in all, you should get 2,800 if you do everything every day. Of course, that's saying a lot because not everyone's going to be able to do it. As you can see, mine are only at 220. So I've, I've missed out a few. I've missed out on a few uh, dark invasions and dark presences. So I'm falling behind a little bit. What I would probably suggest is to just look at your soul linkers 
and kind of just decide which ones you already have. Uh, like if you already have um, like two six star uh, Paramons, then maybe you want to just go and just get all Paramon tickets. And then I'll give you a, a better chance to get a seven star Paramon. I think that's kind of the way to go. I think it's better to just go with whatever you already have a lot of. So that way you're just closer to getting that seven star and then getting even closer to making a legendary. Uh, another new thing we got is they changed the dark presence rewards. So if we go over here to Dark Presence, we check out the exchange points. We now earn two points per minute. I believe it was one point per minute last before the update. And now they added some more uh, ways to spend our points. So we have all the way up to a heroic six star soul linker right here at 480 points. Now here's my tip. Now I could be wrong, but this is just my tip. I would kind of hold off on buying that last one. I would save up my points for a future update if they release a heroic seven star exchange right here. Right? So I feel like they're going to do it eventually. It, it might be in a, a couple months, you know, but that's okay. I would just save up. I would save up your participation points and just wait for like a seven star heroic because the seven star heroics are ridiculously hard to make so i feel like that would be the best bet i i, I mean the heroic six star again it's still it, they're hard to make don't get me wrong but i feel like in an update a future update we're gonna get a heroic seven star as a way maybe it'll be like uh 720 points or something so i kind of suggest just hold off hold your points and just wait for something even better we also got a new battle royale map the new battle royale map <laughs> I know a lot of people, I say a lot, but I've seen uh, mixed reviews about the Battle Royale map. Some people absolutely hate it, but I, I love it. I think the new Battle Royale map is amazing. I am like 100% for it. I, I love it. I have so much fun with it. It's so fast paced, and I think that's what's so good about it. The other map is really slow, and I don't like that... The map is so big that a lot of people tend to hide. A lot of people tend to hide on that first Battle Royale map we got. And they just kind of hide and they wait until the end just to get some Battle Royale tokens. And they don't really like play it that much. Whereas this new map, everything is so much smaller. Everyone is kind of like clustered up and it's just su such fast pace. There's monsters everywhere. You level up so fast. It's just insane. I love it. I love the quick, quick battle. It's just amazing. It's probably my favorite part of the new update because honestly, I didn't really like playing Battle Royale. I'll, I'll be honest. Like I didn't really like participate in Battle Royale hardly at all. Like even for like my my uh, daily rewards, I only did Battle Royale maybe once or twice. I didn't even do like all five of my games. Cause I just didn't enjoy it. Um, but this new map, man, this new map is fun. This new map actually makes me want to play Battle Royale, which is good. Like, I'm like, ah, man, this is fun. We also got, if we go into our quests, we go into today's activity and we check out, where is it? Uh, we'll have, there's some of these guild exchange tickets right here that you will get uh, for like donating to your guild. Those tickets are in here. They're in your daily quests. So you'll have to claim them here. If you donate, you don't get them. You have to claim them here. Uh, is that it? I think that's it. Oh, and then there's a tenure guild one time right here. There's another one. Uh, another thing that they gave us was these eight star release celebration chests. These chests are really good. Like some of them are really good. I think I opened one of them and I got like 500 blue diamonds. But then there's other times where I got like an HP potion. <laughs> but still though, regardless, there are some good things in these chests. So I would highly suggest prioritizing these quests. So like these use 10 HP potions. I mean, that's easy to do. Um, but some of these other ones where like it's like participate in world boss. You should definitely do that just to get that. Uh, the shill and mine you're going to do. Enhance your equipment five times. I mean, these chests are definitely worth trying. They, they drop some good stuff. But overall, I think this has been a really good update so far. I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I, I have no, like, big complaints about it. I think everything's pretty good. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button for more A3 Still Alive content. 
And uh, I will see y'all very soon with some more videos. Peace. Stay happy. Stay safe.